Here are some tips for working with audio in Premiere Pro. Let's start by seeing the audio in the source panel. To show you this, I'll load one of the interview clips into the source panel. Just click the waveform button under the source monitor. It's nice to see the audio waveform. It makes it much easier to see when somebody is speaking and when they're quiet. You can click the video button to switch back to the video. Back to the waveform. Just as with the video, you can go full screen by pressing the tilde key and use the plus and minus keys to zoom in and out of the waveform. Let's talk about adjusting audio within the timeline. There are two letters next to the track indicators on the timeline, the letter M and S. M is for mute, S is for solo. Click the M mute button. That track won't be heard. Click the S solo button. Now only that track will be heard. Here's a great tip. Mute your music until you're ready to mix with it. It can be distracting to hear the music when you're trying to fine-tune an interview. Premiere Pro also has an audio clip mixer, giving you professional mixing controls. You can find it near the source panel. It adjusts the clip wherever the playhead is. The sliders adjust the clip underneath the playhead itself. When I raise or lower a clip, you can see the thin white line adjust on the timeline up or down exactly like the slider moved in the panel. If you're not seeing the white line, this is a great time to mention the Expand All Track feature here under the wrench on the timeline. The same adjustments that were done in the audio clip mixer can be done directly on clips. You can drag the white line up or down, raising or lowering this piece of music. Now these adjustments I've shown you affect the whole clip. What if you want to just adjust part of a clip? Let's fade out the music. To make adjustments over time, you need to set keyframes for the volume. Grab the pen tool, click it in the tools panel, or press the letter P for pen. Watch how wherever I click, I add a keyframe. To fade out the music, add two keyframes, one near the end and one at the very end of the music. Then lower the keyframe at the end to zero. And now the music fades out. If you accidentally add extra keyframes, just click it with the pen tool and press the delete button. Before I go on, I'm going to switch back to the arrow tool, the V key, just as in Photoshop. Now if a clip has an empty audio track or just has audio you know you don't want to use in your project, you can delete it from the timeline and keep the video portion intact. For example, I'll drag this clip onto the timeline. Notice when I click the clip, both the video and audio are selected. I'm going to click off the clip to show you a handy trick. You can hold down the Alt key or the Option key on the Mac OS and then click the clip. Now you can select just the video portion or just the audio part. I'll hold down the Alt or Option key and select just the audio and press Delete. Now we have the video and the audio is gone from the timeline. So those are just a few tips for working with audio in Premiere Pro.